Uh, unfortunately, the dance does not have the untwist command. So if this were the entire dance, it would be a sort of a boring thing because the more times you do the twist command, the more and more turns you get on the rope and there'd be absolutely no way to untangle it, right? Uh, also, if you'd like to hook some mathematics to this, but what I'd like to do is somehow assign a, a number or something like a number to the rope configuration so we can keep track of what's going on. And so an obvious sort of a thing, what would be an obvious thing that you could do? Let's say that we call the two parallel ropes zero. What would be an obvious thing to do to whatever the current number is with a twist command? Increment by half or increment by one, it doesn't, yeah, it just increment by, by some fixed amount, right? Since I'm a little bit afraid of fractions, <laughs> let, let's just, let, let, let's just, and, uh, as are many of the students, right? <laughs> um, as are many of the students. So let's say that each twist is an uh, increment by one. So what would this represent? Three. Three. We did, in fact, we did three, three twists, right? So, um, it's a sort of, as I say, it's a sort of a boring dance. If every time we do a twist, we add one. What should display do? Nothing. Nothing. Okay, I got that. <laughs> um, what would a negative one, we can't get to a negative one, obviously, but what would a negative one represent? It would be as if you had done an untwist from the start position, right? I mean, we can't do that, but that's what a negative one, and a negative ten would simply mean you did ten untwists somehow. Okay, and so if, if you had a dance with a twist and an untwist, then you know I let, let's say I you know put a curtain up so you couldn't see what was going on, and I whispered the uh, the commands and so forth, and we did twists and untwists for a while, and then we open the curtains, and I and I say we're at seven. What happened? Ten twists and three untwists. <laughs> it could be that, yeah. <laughs> could could have been just seven twists. But what could you say though? If we started from zero and we're at seven. There were seven more twists than untwists. Seven more twists than untwists, and we have no idea in what order they occurred. But it's a sort of a nice thing. I mean, it's a positive and negative number thing, so you sort of, I mean, it's a, it's a sort of a, a, a nice way to, a, a, wait, a physical example of negative numbers in some sense that's maybe different from, from what the kids may have seen.